raw and uncut. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday. Okay, I told y'all this a long time ago. Y'all get what you get. You get me, okay? And this is <laughs> this Saturday morning. <laughs> I pray that you guys woke up in great health, good energy, and positive vibes, my loves. Today's going to be a good day. Because mm -hmm. all my worries got washed away. Today's going to be a good day. Because mm -hmm. all my sins got prayed away. Today's going to be a good day. Mm -hmm. Cause he chose to wake me another day. Today is gonna be a good day. Hey, that little chant been helping me, y'all, in the midst of my day yesterday and even this morning. Cause I feel late. Because you know it's Saturday and I did go to bed late last night and I slept in this morning. Not really slept in. I just lay there. And then I start feeling like I'm late. I'm late. I'm talking fast because I feel late. So I'm in my head in the moment. Crowding out that negative because you got to give yourself the grace. Like I always tell you guys to just be work in progress. We doing this together. Okay. <laughs> for real, for real. So today is going to be a good day. Because mm -hmm. all my worries got washed away. It, it's been helping me. But anywho, happy Saturday morning, my loves. I told y'all we're on a cut. Y'all get me. <laughs> I wanted to share a little bit of some journaling I've been having. And it was more so of what I came across last night before bed. I was on YouTube and I've been changing the way, the things that I'm listening to, okay? Because you know, listening to the things, we're feeding that into our mind. Um, I've been watching what I watch on TV because I'm tired of crying with these people too. Sometimes I turn on TV and some of the shit just be so sad. I be finding myself crying. It's like, girl, it's just TV. <laughs> But I be feeling them, and it is, it's some of the wildest things, you know, and I'm choosing what I'm putting in my vehicle. Y'all catch that. I was listening to this lady named Rhonda. She wrote the book, um, The Secret, right? And she said, our body is the vehicle that's transporting us throughout our life, just like the car we get in to go to the store. What kind of gas you putting in your car? This is where my mind started going, you know. Is you getting your oil changed? Is you doing your regular maintenance? Is you got brakes on there? How's your tires? What are you doing to your car? Because based on how you take care of your car, that's what you're going to get out of it. You ever buy a car off the street, you know, back in the day, you know, go buy you a little under and if this was an old ass person, no disrespect, that's selling that car, we want that one. Because yeah, you've been taking care of your car. I don't want that one, uh, oh boy, selling up the street, nah. <laughs> And it's because they're family at that point that they know how to take care of the car because they know what they need to get out of it. The same as our bodies. What is you putting into your vehicle? The heart and the soul is the main part of that engine. But our mind is, 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 that, is that transmission fluid and that oil and the water and the coolant. Our mind is what you're feeding to ramp all through your damn body to get out what you're putting in. So I've been reading and I just been I just been being very conscious. I'm reading a couple books and I I am challenging you guys to go read a book. It don't have to be and I don't want it to be an audio audio book. No, because the audio then force us to, you know, paint somewhat of a picture. But when you read stuff with with these, it gives you a whole nother vision. And then you start using that imagination and you start placing yourself into them. You ever heard that old myth? And I do believe in it that a lot of times the book be so much freaking better than the movies. So why are we taking the shortcuts with the phones, reading the books to us? Half the time, the voice they reading to it irks me enough and I'm not even pulled in. You feel me? When I'm reading with my own eyes, I'm seeing the people. One of my favorite books uh, by Sister Soldier, The Coldest Winter Ever. I got that whole movie in my head, okay? To the point when actual movies come out, and I'm rambling, but when actually when actual movies come out of books, it makes sometimes, it makes us so pissed because it's like, what the fuck you do to the, to the book? Because we already have that whole movie of what we think it should be in our minds. The phones and the audio books of the people in that funny voice talking, it don't do that for me. I wanted to share my books today. 
I've been reading my Bible. A couple chapters a day. A couple chapters a day. A couple chapters a day. You know what I mean? I've been reading the Steve Harvey Jump. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I hear so much. Every time you go on a motivation website and look for encouragement words, they always talk about Steve Harvey and Jump. You know, I'm just now getting really started in it. I'll let y'all know how to go. Um, Bob Pro Proctor suggested reading The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightgale. A mind is powerful. A mind is powerful. What is you putting into your vehicle? J just being conscious. Another one that, um, look at this one. The Power of Positive Thinking. I'm trying to feed my mind in ways that I've never fed it before because I finally had to learn that my past is not what's going to control my future. I'm not going to be stuck in limits because of where in my head I came from or what I've been in my life and all the ups and downs that I've had, have experienced. Eventually, I think it's made me stronger because I'm able to connect and that's why I'm on watching TV and I'm crying with these people and shit because we all have past. It's not controlling my future, so don't let it control yours. Use that past to add fuel to where you're going. What are you putting in your vehicle, my loves? Read a book. Tell me what book you decided to read. If you got a book you think I should read, let me read it, okay? And not saying that I'm not reading the the um, arm, or is that how you pronounce it? You know, the orange African-American books, black books. Sorry if that's not the way to say it, but I live my books. If you got a book I should read, let me read it. Let me read it. Drop it down. These are a, a few of the ones that I'm starting to read alongside my Bible. Because I told you guys before that I had made a promise to God that praying my way out of some shit one time. And I know I'm rambling. I'm going to be quiet a minute. <laughs> and I had said... I'm, going to, I'm not going to read another book until I read my Bible entirely. So, this is me. And I said that years ago. Just like me not getting no more tattoos in the midst of me praying my way out of some shit. So, I am finally in a place in life where I'm just becoming aware. I'm reading my Bible and I'm reading other books. And I just wanted to get on and give you guys what I got last night. Be conscious of what you're putting in your vehicle. All right? Have a great Saturday. I got to go see my mama today. So uh, let me get out of here. <laughs> Bye, loves. I'll talk to y'all later. I got to do something. Bye. <laughs>